first half action here of Pope John and watch Nick Palizzo's of Vernon with a nice effort here as he weaves his way into the box before he feeds Will Schuswall. But Pope John keeper Hunter Silvernail makes the first of his several outstanding saves here for the Lions, and we have no score. Vernon's on the attack again, and it's Chris Hass to Vernon on the run. But once again, it's Hunter Silvernail with a terrific stop as he covers up to keep it scoreless. Vernon continues its dominance here. Watch Destin Alton Billet with a blast on the near post. But once again, Silvernail is there for the save for the Lions. Okay, as we've seen, Silvernail was on fire. Watch him lay out and rob Brendan Shine here of a goal with this diving stop. Wow. Okay, despite being outplayed most of the half, Pope John gets a chance here late. Watch Kurt Lamone with the shot, but Vernon Keeper Amy Lowe makes the save, and we have no score the half thanks to Silvernail's playing goal for the Lions. Second half we go, and the Hunter Silvernail show continues here. Watch the junior off the giveaway make the incredible stop to Rob Brendan Shine again. He was a wall, folks. Vernon finally breaks through here, and it's a nice one. Watch Jake Lally get it up to Destin Alton Billick, who fires in the shot, but Brendan Shine is there for the rebound as he knocks it home, and Vernon has a 1-0 lead with 17 minutes left in the half. But Pope John was not going away. Watch the underman Lions even it up here as Michael Palmazano knocks home the loose change, and we are tied at 1. What a clutch goal by Palmazano. Okay, under 4 minutes to go here in regulation, Vernon gets a free kick. And it's Will Schuswall with a perfectly placed blast to the far corner. And Vernon holds off Pope John 2-1 for the NJAC American Division victory to avenge the earlier 1-0 loss to the Lions. Definitely a tough win. Uh, our team played very well today. We possessed it. We worked some great shots on goal. Uh, the Pope John keeper played an amazing game, and that kept it as long as it did. But overall, I'm really happy with this win. It's always good to get one against Pope John. It was just big. We lost last game against Phillipsburg in the HWS, so it was good to just bounce back, know, like, know how we play. So it was good. It feels good. They beat us one nothing last or not last week, last game. Um, always big rivalry against them. It's good to finish beating them my last season. I like it. Their goalie was on fire in the beginning of the game, and you know I could kind of see in my guys' eyes they were getting a little bit frustrated. Uh, you know we did a great job working on possession all week, um, and we pretty much you know had possession most of the first half. But every time we got through, man, their goalie was there like a brick wall. He played an outstanding game today. That goal was a beauty as Jake Lally sent it up. Destin out with Billick with the shot, and Brendan Shine put it in. Just sitting there, it was like an automatic to me. I mean. It, it was really Destin. I mean, he took the shot. I just I was there. I was lucky. I was there for right there, right in the middle. Give Pope John a ton of credit. They came right back and tied this game up. So this game looked like it was heading to overtime, but Will Schiesel took a direct kick, put it in the upper 90, and Vernon got the win. I was a little tired, but I tried to just put a clean shot on goal, give my team a chance to put in the rebound if there was one. And luckily for me, it came off well, and the keeper couldn't do anything about it, so I'm happy with it. This past weekend, Vernon was bounced from the HWS by a good Phillipsburg team, so now they're concentrating, finishing strong in the American Division, and in North 1 Group 3, which is a meat grinder, one of the toughest public school sections in the state. And it is a meat grinder, like we said, you know, we are talking before the game, when you look at Group 3 and NJ.com rates the Group 3 teams, three of the top four in our group, so it is a meat grinder. But we're going to be prepared for it because of our conference, playing the Morris Hills twice, the Pope Johns, the Spartas, the Mount Olives, um, playing Phillipsburg this weekend in HWS. I think we'll, you know, we're going to go into the, the state tournament prepared for what we're going to see.